Our paper is about the membrane fission machinery ESCO3, which is involved in many fundamental processes like cytokinesis, virus budding, or the endosomal pathway. ESCO3 consists of single subunits that polymerize into spiral-shaped filaments. And current models assume that these filaments are very stable and they don't exchange the single subunits. And they constrict membranes by bending. However, we know from other cellular polymers that they are highly dynamic. For example, the mitotic spindle or the ectomyosin ring. So we wondered if ESCO3 filaments also undergo dynamic remodeling. To investigate this, we initiated a highly collaborative effort and combined in vivo and in vitro approaches. And we're very excited to find that escort subunits continuously exchange with the cytoplasmic pool, basically like single Lego pieces within a large assembly. And this turnover was mediated by an ATPase called VPS4, which would correspond to the Lego people exchanging the Lego pieces. We found that the subunit turnover is required for polymerization and we could directly visualize single growing and shrinking filaments with high-speed atomic force microscopy. So taken together, we find a dynamic instability in escort assemblies mediated by VPS4. And this is surprising because VPS4 was previously thought to mainly disassemble escort, but we found that it can actually stimulate polymerization by inducing filament reorganization. And such a dynamic model has never been implicated for escort before and has very important implications. It can facilitate shape adaptation to different membrane geometries and it could directly contribute to constriction by filament remodeling and sliding. And we are very excited that our findings will, be, will have broad implications for many escort mediated processes. <laughs>